Claudia. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a holiday makeup look for you. So I've done a smoky dark eye and a bright red lip. So if you want to know how I got this, then just carry on watching. I'm starting off by applying my Max Factor Ageless Elixir 2 in 1 Foundation Serum. I'm just going to dot this all over my face using a buffing brush. I'm using my favourite concealer which is by Collection and it's the Last in Perfection concealer. I'm just going to apply this to my under eyes on any redness and any blemishes as well and just blend it all in. I'm just going to dust Max Mineralize Skin Finish Natural Powder all over my face using a fluffy powder brush. For cheeks I'm using a Devil Milano blush and this is the shade Peach and I've chosen this one because it's a nice subtle shade because the eyes are going to be big and the lips are going to be bold so I'm just dusting this over my cheekbones and then applying the Makeup Academy Undress Your Skin Highlighter and I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheekbones on my cupid's bow and down the centre of my nose as well. For eyebrows I'm just applying the Devil Milano eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to apply this to the sparse areas of my brows and um, blend them out using a spoolie brush and then to set my eyebrows I'm going to use my natural correction clear mascara. For my eyeshadow base I'm using a Maybelline colour tattoo in the colour on and on bronze and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid and blend it in. I'm going to apply Max Wood Wink eyeshadow on the first inner corner to the centre of my eyelid and I'm just going to keep applying this till I get the nice shade. And then applying Max Tempting and I'm going to use this in the outside corner of my eyes and I'm just going to keep blending this in until I get the nice colour that I want. I'm then just going to lightly buff out the edges to blend everything in and make it gradual. And then applying Max Carbonize which is a dark shimmery brown and I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner and I'm going to create sort of a flick to my eye. And I'm just going to keep applying this colour until I get the nice shade, deep shade that I want. And then just going to blend this out. And then I'm going to also apply carbonized on my lower lash line as well. And also then just going to blend that in a bit to make it all look a bit more soft and smoky. And then applying the colour Swiss Chocolate, Swiss Chocolate by MAC. And I'm just going to do this on the very edge of all the colour that we just applied. And this is just going to make all the colours blend in nicely together. And then using Max Brulee, which is a matte cream, and I'm just going to buff this into my brow bone and blend more together. And then I'm using the shade Gleam, which is by MAC as well, and I'm going to apply this to my inner corner. I'm using Urban Decay's 24 7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion, and I'm going to apply this to my tight line and my waterline as well. And this is a great one because it's um, waterproof, so it should last you all night. I'm then going to use NYX's Super Skinny Marker, which looks like a felt tip and it's really easy to use. So I'm just going to line my top lash line. I'm not going to flick it out, it's just going to be really, really thin line, just to make my lashes look more full and plump. I'm then going to curl my eyelashes and apply two mascaras. The first mascara is the Avon Super Enchant, and this is just to make my lashes look separated and flutty and pretty. And then I'm going to apply Benefits their real mascara, which is going to make them look um, more fake, I guess. You could use fake lashes for this look, but I chose not to. I then just applied the their real mascara on my bottom lash line as well, and then the eyes are done. I'm using Lush's Sweet Lips Lip Scrub to buff off any dry skin on my lips. I'm then going to apply a lip balm, Maybelline Baby Lips, for intense hydration, and then I'm applying Max Dromia Line Red Lip Liner. And I'm just going to put this all over my lips. I'm going to line them first and then I'm going to fill them in. And this will make the lipstick stay on longer. And because you've buffed off any dry skin and the moisturising lip balm, it will, should help your lipstick stay on nicely all night long. For my lipstick, I'm actually using a long cloth one. And this doesn't have a name. It's just a red one with purpley undertones. I got this with a gift with purchase. So I don't know what it's called. But I'm just going to apply this straight from the bullet all over my lips. And then just blot it off on a piece of tissue after. Well, this tutorial. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see, oh, and I'll see you next time. Bye.